Hi there Minecraft fans, a uh, few of you asked me if I could make a tutorial of the buildcraft items, so of course I can. Uh, tutorial, there we go. <coughs> um, haven't planned anything, as you can see we're generating a new world and uh, I kinda expect just to level out a area. Fly, damn you. Let's see. There we go. Replace near fifty certain seven. There we go. Replace near. Let's try that again. Replace near 5018 0. There we go. Nice flat air. Uh, well, open area. There we go. Now we got a nice area to work with. <coughs> I of course have a TMI installed too many items so we can get to business right away. Let's start with the engines, these three. We need them for, well, basically anything we want to pump or move. So let's, I'll show you how to create them. Of course you should know that by now. Okay, let's see. <coughs> we need wood, we need glass, we need uh, pistons, and we need some, uh, well, uh, spark Let's see, there we go. Gold gear, stone gear, we need wood gear. So in order to create a wood gear, you place blocks like that, and you get a wood gear. Then you take your wood gears and place them like that, a piston there, glass there, and three wood on top. And you got yourself a redstone engine. <coughs> Let's place that here. Now the next engine is a steam engine. Basically the same thing except it's made with cobblestone and stone gears. So you place your stone to cobblestone around. There we go. And you get stone gear. Let's get a few more. There we go. <coughs> and in order to create a steam engine, same way. Oops. We forgot the glass. Where did it go? 2020. There. And three on top. Oh wait. That should of course be cobblestone now. And you got a steam engine. The last one is the combustion engine. Same thing. Except it's iron. I'm not going to show you how to collect iron. I kind of expect you already know that. There we go. Two iron gears. Place them there. Piston in the middle. Middle. Glass on top. And iron bars across the top. And you got yourself a iron engine. <coughs> now these can be turned on and off with a redstone or a stick like that. And as you can see, the, none of them are going well. This one actually is. You can see the redstone currents around it. To get this one going you need to place something burnable inside it. And you can see this one is working as well. Don't mind the animation is not going. We now know the engines are working. 
Let's turn them off. And for this one you need, well, you can use fuel or you can use uh, oil. <coughs> I prefer myself to use uh, lava and water. So you replace some lava and some water. And you can see it's going, or trying to. And I think this is where most people get to. And then the engines won't work uh, because there is nothing to do. But in order to get them to work, <coughs> we need a, 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 a <laughs> pipes. Uh, well, and you know you create pipes by uh, taking some smooth stone around some glass. Oops, there we go. And you get uh, eight stone pipes. These stone pipes you upgrade to conductive pipe with uh, redstone. So you add redstone to it, if we can find it. There we go. And you now get a conductive pipe. There we go, eight conductive pipes. But in order to produce electricity, as most people want to, you need a wooden transport pipe. There we go. So now we can uh, place the pipes on top of these, if we have enough for this. Let's see. Yes, it worked. There we go. <coughs> now this should produce electricity. And you can see there. It works. It's that simple. Same with this one. And the last one. Not so fast, uh, but it shouldn't be. And now we, in fact, got three power generating pipes. So people ask, uh, how do you get the refinery to work? And let's just take a bunch of these. <coughs> um, in order to build a refinery, a oil refinery, you need to first create the, what do you call them? Um, silos, the containers, the fuel containers like this. And you need three of them. Sorry. There we go. One, two, three. <coughs> you place them like this. And you need redstone torches and a diamond gear. One diamond gear. And you make it the same way as the others, but you have to make a wood gear, then a stone gear, then an iron gear, then a gold gear, and at last a diamond gear. So you could, in fact, call this end game content. Uh, one, two, sorry. And just two of these redstone torches, and you get yourself the refinery. We also need one of those. Yes. Uh, so now I'm going to place my. Well, let's just place this. Place it here. I got myself a refinery, and I want to create fuel. So in order to make this running, you need the power from over here into this. Luckily we got enough conductive pipes to just do that. Okay. Now we need to create some... Uh, well, let's just imagine we have pumped a lot of oil into, uh, into this container here. That's not much. Let's get some more. There we go. <coughs> I said time for day. We got some oil pumped up into this from somewhere. And we want to create it or convert it into fuel. Let's just create another silo where we can put our fuel once it's done. <coughs> but before we can do that, we need to hook this up with waterproof pipe again as before we make some pipes 
regular stone pipes or we could make uh, them with gold much better uh, it runs a lot faster in gold pipes <coughs> but in order to get them waterproof you need uh, let's see we need a furnace and we need some cactus and we need some fuel we place a furnace we drop in cactus and fuel there we go and we basically create a green dye cactus dye okay so now we have a a bunch of cactus dye or cactus green it's called we put it in there and get pipe waterproof so I think it should be waterproof pipe and you just combine them like this and you get waterproof pipe this you can use to pump uh, well anything any liquid around between the we also need some in wood, of course, <coughs> between silos and uh, refineries. Okay, wood pipe goes on this because we want to get extract the oil from it, and another wood pipe goes on the refinery because we want to extract the finished fuel. Then we place a gold pipe here, just to make it run fast, and we place a, a few gold pipes here just to make it run fast. Uh, well, you could also use uh, stone pipes. Or, well, I think that's basically it. So, let's see. Oh, cobblestone as well. No, iron. Cobblestone. Yeah. Okay, to get this running we need a few engines. Uh, I'm just going to use a few redstone engines. I prefer to use redstone engines for pumps because I tend to forget them and they well kind of blow up. But redstone engines when they blow up it's not so bad. Nothing really happens. Uh, they just go boom and then they're gone and you can replace it. And now this is not working. There we go and it starts to remove the oil and pump it into the refinery that's perfect that's what we wanted <coughs> now we want the refinery to convert the oil into uh, fuel but the refinery needs power so let's try this one nothing happens these are still red they turn purple when the refinery is running at low but green when the refinery is running at it's best. Okay, we got two engines and it's eh, not really good enough. Let's try the combustion engine as well. Okay, we can get it to run, but it's not very good. Let's just add a bunch of engines. There we go. Okay, this is the next problem. The engines are turning the wrong way. And in order to fix that, we need to create a spanner. I'm not sure what he calls it himself. But it's basically made out of a... What do you call it? Stone gear? So we place one stone gear. And we make the form of a spanner. Let's see. Rinse, of course. <laughs> And you right-click the engines until they face the way you want, but they won't point upwards because there's nothing up here. But as soon as we... Uh, where's the wood? Didn't I make any... Yeah, that's right there. Wooden conductive pipe. There we go. They will turn up to the correct way. And we're going to add some levers. And since this is what the steam engines, we need some fuel. And there we go. 
Now the refinery is running. It's not running optimal because then they these would be green, but it's working. So, yay, happy times. Now the fuel is just going to be filled up into this one, and once it's full, uh, the refiner will stop and the pumps will continue pumping until they get hot and explode. But uh, before that happens, we're going to extract the fuel from this container and put it in here. And just like the other side, we're just going to place a wood engine, turn it around, activate it with redstone, and fuel should be coming through here. Yes. And we got fuel. This is basically how a refinery works in Buildcraft. And... Well, this stop now. No fuel. Fine. <coughs> That's also how I made the, the huge map you saw. What a huge refinery. It's not that difficult, you just need a lot of stuff. And it takes a lot of time. Um, that's it, I guess. I don't think I need to show you anything else. Uh, and we just crashed, which is funny. Anyway, uh, hope it helps anyone who has trouble getting the engines to run. Uh, there's no... Uh, While well the fuel you can use in combustion engines, I'm not sure in steam engines, but I'm sure Space Toad will make more uses for the fuel later. Else you have to install uh, industrial craft and, well, that expands the game a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and if you have a suggestion or a request, just leave them in the comments. I usually read them all. Thanks for watching. Bye.